Oh shit. He looks like he stepped out of a time machine. Hey guys, it's me Raymond and I'm back today to bring you another doll review. Today we're going to take a look at some Heart Family dolls and this review is actually thanks to my friend Evan who kindly found these dolls at a like local antique store um, in California where he lives and he shipped them to me and here we are. So um, thank you Evan for getting me these dolls for the millionth time. Um, incredibly sweet of you to like find them and think of me um I've, I don't know if you guys like if you follow me on my Instagram um you've seen that I have been posting some like old photos of me um as a, as a kid with my Barbies and uh a couple of them were with the Hart family mom I had growing up and um it really brought back a lot of like sentimental feelings for uh heart family especially because i loved them as a kid like i loved a lot of the dolls that my sisters had that were kind of left that didn't get sold in yard sales and stuff and uh the heart family was one of them that we actually had like one of the sets of them it was like the surprise party set that i actually did a review on like four, what four years ago <laughs> um whenever i started so uh, yeah, so I did a review a long time ago of them, but uh, these ones are not ones I had, but they are really cool nonetheless. So without further ado, let us look at the dolls. So here they are. This is the Baby Wets Deluxe set, by the way, and I've actually found out that my set is European. It has to be European. Um, and we'll take a look at the box and some of like the inserts and things and you'll kind of see where I'm coming from. Uh, and yeah, I actually opened these on a live stream on my Instagram, which you can also go view if you follow me there. Um, or if you don't, if you just wanna be a creep and <laughs> watch my videos, go ahead. Um, but yeah, so first of all, we'll do ladies first. You know, I'm a little old fashioned in that way. <laughs> and I also just find the, the mom to be like really beautiful. Um, so we'll look at the mother. So um, actually, let me show the box really quick. I'll show the box really quick and then we will talk about it because I need to talk about something. And I actually um, reviewed a box that I think was for the bath time fun one that I did a long time ago too. That this image here is on the back. Um, and I, I said something like, I've never seen this outfit in my life. You know, I've never seen that, that doll. Um, I thought it was just the, the like pregnant one. Uh, I forget what she's called. The new arrival mom. I, cause she looks very similar to her, but in a different dress. And I was like, you know, I've never seen this fashion before. Um, turns out it wasn't a fashion. It was a doll. So, um, yeah, so that's where this whole thing kind of came from. And I never really looked further into it. I, Even though it does say on here, um, like a product number for some of these things. And I think on that box it did too. It said like deluxe baby wet set or something. I just never looked into it. I don't know why. Um, curiosity at the time did not get the best of me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so anyway, the front here, we have a nice big purple insert. Um, and it says the Hart family, la famille de Corvon. I don't know how to speak French. Um, and it says baby wets deluxe set. And then it's also in uh, several different other languages. I'm assuming one is French. I think one might be German. And the other one is I think Spanish. So uh, there's quite a few different languages, which is what leads me to believe that this is European. Um, at the top up here, it says babies really drink and wet. And yeah, so we have some cute like pictures on here of the family. We have like the cute little logo with their little faces in it. I don't know if you right here and, and there. And sometimes it's like alternate. Sometimes the mom has blonde hair. It's really interesting. Um, this, is, uh, there's nothing in English on this side. Is there something in English on this side? Not recommended for ages three and under, but on both sides it is the same set of images. So there is the mom feeding the little boy, and the little boy with his diaper and his bottle, and the dad, I think, changing the little girl. 
and these are copyrighted 1987. So yeah, and then on the back here it says there's a whole world of accessories for the Hart family. Uh, yeah, dolls and accessories each sold separately. But I know that a lot of this stuff does exist now, which is good because there's like a couple resources that thankfully were pointed out to me. Um, I think Don't Touch My Dolls was one of them that pointed, pointed I think somebody out that has like a, an Instagram full of like Hart family stuff. So thank you for that. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the box. It's very large and has a lot of cool pictures on it. So, okay, so back to the mom who was wearing that dress that, you know, sparked the whole mystery here. Um, I actually noticed too that these dolls have like the hugging, like the uh, kiss and cuddle bodies where they have like arms that like will hug the kids. So like you see her arms go really close together. Her hands can almost touch, which is not, you know, a common thing. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really a cool thing. Uh, I didn't know that they made any more of the Hart Family dolls with those bodies. So, um, first of all, she has a, like a pink velvety dress. It's very velvet. Well, at least the top part is. This bottom part is not, it's more like a, I would say like a, maybe a nylon. Like it's definitely, I'm not good with like fabric like Dean is. Dean's like, oh yes, this is a chiffon cotton nylon blend, 80, 83% cotton. You know, he like knows everything. I'm, I'm not, but, um, yeah. I didn't even, that didn't make sense. He knows everything, I'm not. What, all right, anyway. But yeah, I think it's it's like, a, it's definitely a, like a, a nylon or maybe a, a tricot, I don't know. <laughs> this is a, um, a lace and up here is also a lace. Heart Family was very much like lace and like, I don't know, like lots of pinks and and, and things like that. But I like all the, the textures. I think it's kind of nice. Like in the big poofy sleeves we've got here. Um, yeah, I think it's it's a really sweet dress. And actually it's not as long as a lot of the Hart Family ones because some of them are clear down. So this one actually shows her, her ankles. Oh my God, um, it's scandalous. But she has like the early eighties pump. I don't know when they, I think that's when they started these. These are like the, the earlier ones that are that are skinnier uh, and they're white. They're actually very translucent, which and they and they don't really want to stay on. I actually had rubber bands on her, but you can see that they broke because her shoes were not staying on. Um, and also, I noticed something about this doll. She is missing her ring. The Hart family is known for having like their rings, their wedding rings. She's missing hers. So in my live stream, I kept saying like, she is like a actual, like she's a prostitute and she just forgot her ring at, at her pimp's house. I don't know, I'm sorry. I, I went on a tangent and you know, I'll, I'll just say I was drinking wine, but I wasn't, I wasn't. So, I don't know, that's just me. But um, anyway, she has, she has the like two-tone hair. It's up in like a, you know, half ponytail sort of style. And she has a bow at the top. She's got like, Let's get the light over here. She's got the blue kind of uh, mascara sort of look that Barbie had an eyeliner. Um, and her eyeshadow is kind of a green color. I don't know if you can really make that out. But yeah, she's very pretty. She's got a really nice face, I think. Uh, some of them are painted kind of funky. Like I have a, the school one. And frankly, I'm not impressed with her. That's why I haven't reviewed her. Um, that's probably my least favorite of the Hart Family moms. And that's saying a lot because I love them. I think they're all really pretty, but that one is just not, she looks like her eyes are going in two different directions. It's just, I think it's just the way it's painted too. Um, so then we have baby girl hair and I tried to help her hair, but girl, listen, I'm gonna have to like recurl it or something because it is wild. Um, half of it is like curled, half of it is not. I don't, I don't know what the heck they were doing. But she has got like a, little like felt kind of diaper with like an elastic around. Uh, and her dress is like the same kind of fabric as the mom's, like the sort of nylon-y with a like lace overlay on top. And it is connected. Um, there is a snap, one single snap. It's very cute. It's a cute little outfit. It's very ruffly. I like the dimensions of it. Um, I like, yeah, it's got a lot of 
I don't know. It's cute. It's really cute. She has like little lace booties on and little white shoes. So these babies actually have a like peeing gimmick where you feed them from like a little bottle that you put water in, you know, and they pee. And I tested it um, after my live stream and they pee like instantly. It just goes right in and out. I mean, they, <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. So, um, so yeah, that's the, their little gimmick. Um, she has also a little bow in her hair like her mom. I think she's really cute actually. I, like. I think a lot of the little girls for a lack of, I don't know, I, some of them I'm not as impressed with how they look and a lot of times their hair is kind of bad. This one's hair is not great, but I think her face is, even with the little like oh, face, like she's kind of cute. So I really like that one a lot. So then we have the baby boy. And I think he is probably my favorite of the baby boys. I, I really like him a lot. Um, you might, if you're familiar with Barbie fashions from the late 80s, you might recognize this as like one of the uh, Paris Pretty fashions. There's like a jacket that's this fabric. And I really like it. When I noticed that, I was like, ooh. So yeah, I really like this fabric. Um, that's a fashion I've always wanted. Like when I, oh God, when I was in school, like, high school I wanted that outfit <laughs> for myself <laughs> no um <laughs> but I never got it so I, I need to work on that but so he has a cute little hat um it has like a sort of vinyl-y uh what is that bill on it um his hair is like kind of curly it's really cute it's got a lot of hair uh once again he has the same face as the little girl because he has the same gimmick. He has like a little jacket and underneath is like a little pink shirt and he's got a little tie. And so his outfit has like uh, a snap underneath so that you can easily remove the, the little tights he has on so you can change his diaper. He doesn't have a diaper on currently, but you could put one on because I will show you the diapers in a minute that you use for the peeing. Um, and his shoes that he came with, actually one of them cracked. So I'm really disappointed. So I did have to put some other shoes on him. I had some spare ones, but he had like gray ones that sort of matched. Cause this is like a teal and a gray, like stripe. Uh, so yeah, those are, those were his shoes. They're the exact same shoes. The ones that I have on mine, they're just white, but he still looks really cute. I mean, it still works. So he's really cute. And then finally, we have the dad here. He's got some lint on him. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's got some like white pants with white socks and white dress shoes. He's like all white on the bottom and then like this teal blazer that matches the little boy's outfit. Um, and it has a single snap in the front. Uh, and his outfit is one piece. So underneath he has like a pink like see a lot of times his fashions were like this where they have like a uh a jacket over a one a one piece suit basically he's got like a big 70s sort of collar it's kind of funny um an ascot and it's like a blue and white polka dot fabric i've actually seen ones that are not polka dot i think it was just blue so I would be interested to know like if that, if mine is like a, so it's kind of a little out of style, let's be real. Um, uh, <laughs> the, the actors from Friday the 13th part two, Lauren Marie Taylor was watching my uh, live stream and she said he looks like he, he's definitely at a country club. <laughs> and I, I definitely agree. I'm gonna have to tuck his ascot back in, but he has a wedding ring as you see. And I think he has the, the hugging arms too, cause he, they go like really close together. I don't have the kiss and cuddle dad, so I don't know, but I would just assume, I haven't been able to take his jacket off to look at how his arms go, but I'm just assuming his are the same as the mom's. So we have the box of diapers that they come with. And as you can see, they have like little bears on them, diapers and hearts. And on the side it says heart family. Um, I couldn't open it in the one video, but I can, I went ahead and did it now, <laughs> but you have I think six diapers in here. 
Is it six or is it just four? Okay, there are two more in there. But um, so three for each baby. And what you do is like, look, it's like, it's literally like a, a cotton pad almost that you would like wipe your makeup off with. Um, but the one side is kind of like plasticky. So it's like plasticky on one side and like a cotton pad on the other. And what you do is, let me get the little sticker sheet here. You use these stickers and you like put it on the baby and you put the little stickers on the sides to keep it on. So you have this like whole sticker sheet and these are reusable. I don't think these are. So I will not be doing it, but um, that is what you do basically. And you just let them pee their pants. <laughs> um, it's a really cute gimmick. I think it's kind of funny. I, I don't think they even had like, you know, re like, a, like a, a pack of like diapers you could rebuy, you know? So it would be one of those things where once you're done with it, you're done with it and you really kind of just have to uh, let them free ball, I guess, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but you have like a, a sticker, sh or not a sticker sheet, a uh, cardboard thing too. And this is like a, a changing bag sort of thing. Um, and you have like baby powder, a bottle, some wipes, uh, probably some, maybe some cream, I don't know. Um, there's lots of different little things on here though. It's really cute. And we have the instructions that are in all different languages. Um, so this is pretty much how we figured out that it has to be European, other than the fact that the uh, labels are in, well, everything is in multiple languages. Um, there's, it says nappy box and it says mum instead of mom. So uh, yeah, I'm 99% I'm sure this is from Europe. Maybe Canada, but I don't think so. I, it, I don't, that doesn't scream Canada to me. Cause I have had some that I assume were from Canada because they were also in French, but this is like a ton of different languages. So yeah, I don't know. But anyway, this basically shows you what you get and it shows you the different ways that you change the babies, like how, how each of them kind of change, how you, fill up the bottle, you like squeeze it and dip it in the water. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really it. It's just showing you all of the stuff that I've, excuse me, already pretty much explained. And finally, oh, we also get a hairbrush and here are the bottles. I forgot to show those. Um, they're very big. They are really big bottles actually. Um, but so then we get a little catalog here that is disguised as if as an album. Um, this booklet belongs to, and then you put your name and your age and your address, I guess. And it says, I love the Hart family. Um, welcome to the loving world of Hart family for hours of family fun play. Uh, so here is the musical nursery. I'm trying to make sure that I'm getting that in the frame. Okay. Um, so the back here has fashions that I've absolutely never seen before other than in this booklet. So, you know, I actually had a dream a while back that I was in the eighties at a Kmart and I was buying up all the Hart family dolls that were having a sale on them. And it was like 1988 or nine or something. And I was buying up all the dolls and everybody was looking at me like, what is this guy doing? But I was like shitting my pants <laughs> about all of these dolls. <laughs> Um, so it says camper, a pop out tent for our family camp outs. So you've got the pop up camper there that attaches to their car, which is really neat. Those are two sets that I need to get. <laughs> I'd love to have like a complete art family set. I think that'd be really cool. That's my goal, but I don't think it'll ever happen just because there are so many like foreign sets. Um, like this new arrival one that I've literally never seen for sale um, ever in my life, this one. <laughs> and so we have like a rocking horse set. We have a bring up baby set with like a potty chair. I like that a lot of this stuff too, and like with these baby fashions I'm gonna show in a moment, um, they are like repackaged outfits that already came on dolls that were released. So, 
Yeah, and I've never seen any of this furniture in my life. There's like a, a changing table, like dresser sort of thing. There's a uh, toy chest. There's like a daycare set, but that's the one that has like a um, a picture of the, the dolls that came in this set. There's the grandparents. So here's like the sweet roses like furniture for the kitchen that I have actually, but like they're recolored and redesigned to be like Hart family, which is really neat. And they also have the table, which has like these like floating high chair basically things for the babies. Hope you can see that okay. And then we have the fashions here and these are the ones that they literally all come with other dolls that are like the neighbor kids or whatever, like that like line. Um, there's like Derek and Desk and Daria and Desk and like Honey and High Chair. Like those are all of the fashions that come with those dolls. So I thought that was pretty cool that they actually like, so this must be European. If I'm wrong, I apologize for giving you false information, but I have I have really no way of knowing exactly, but I, I'm like 99% sure that this has to be some foreign set. But anyway, that pretty much does it for this set. I'm sorry this video is kind of long. There's a lot to go over here. There's quite a bit of dolls. Um, I will be having some more Heart Family stuff up very soon and some other things that I need to review. <laughs> so keep an eye out. Um, but yeah, that is the dolls. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I will see you guys very soon with another doll review. Um, until then, take care, bye.